we're now going to look at some equations that you need to solve where the variable, the x, is on both sides of the equation. Let's have a look at a scenario where the number of suites over here is exactly the same as the number of suites over there and we want to keep it like that. The number of suites in each box is exactly the same and we're trying to figure out how many suites are in the box. We can represent that, the situation, by an equation. If we think of x as being the number of suites in the box, then what we have is x suites and another x suites here. So x and x is 2x plus 3 spare suites. And then over here, what we have is x suites and then the 13 suites that are lying around. Now, we want to figure out how many suites are in a box. So what I'm going to do is I'm keep, going to keep doing whatever I do here, I'm going to do here. So we keep the number of suites over here and the number of suites over here the same as each other. So we keep the balance. And I'm going to work to just getting a box, one box alone over here, and just having loose suites over there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the suites out of here. But if I take three suites out of here, of course to keep it balanced, I must take three suites out of there. In terms of the equation, that is what I have done. We still have exactly the same number of suites on each side. In terms of my equation, what I have now is that 2x is equal to x plus 10. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is because I actually don't want any boxes left over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the box out here and then I must take the box out there to keep it balanced. In terms of my equations, I've taken x suites out of the one side and x suites out of the other side. What do I have left then? I've got 2x minus x, which is just x, and over here I've got 10, showing me that one box of x suites is equal to 10 suites. So this is the process of solving an equation where you've got x's on both sides. Your aim is to get just x's on this side and just numbers on that side. We'll look at a couple more examples of how to do that. Let's have a look at solving two more equations. If we have to solve 11x plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 9, remember what we're trying to do is just get x's alone on this side and numbers alone on that side. So let's first get rid of this plus 5. We can do that by subtracting 5, but of course, in order to keep things balanced, what we do to one side, we must do to the other side of the equation. Now, we want to get rid of x's on the right, so let's get rid of this 2x on the right. And the way we can do that is to subtract 2x on the right. But if we subtract it on the right, we must do the same on the left to keep things balanced. So we will get that 9x is 4, and of course we just want x on its own. So we divide both sides of the equation by 9, and we'll get that x is 4 ninths. If we ask to solve an equation like this one, there's just one extra step to do, and that is we need to multiply this out so we get it back into this sort of a state. And remember, we have to use our distributive law to multiply out. So the 6 must multiply with the x and also with the negative 2 and the, six must, and the 5 must multiply with the x and with the 2. Now we're in the same situation as before. We want to get x's alone on this side, numbers alone on that side. So let's first start by getting rid of the minus 12 and we'll do that by adding 12. And so what we'll get 
is that 6x is 5x plus 22. We want to get rid of the x's on the right, so we'll subtract 5x on the right. Keeping it balanced means we'll get x is equal to 22.